okay sorry for interruption mcog micturating cysto urethrogram the contrast study and these x rays helpful to understand the underlying communication with these other structures of the body so in this x ray urinary blood and the urethra visible along with the uterus and vaginal tract plus the gastrointestinal tract these three tract communicating with each other through the common channel so persistent cloaca is the important finding in this contrast study in this x ray you can easily understand the communication of all the structures and all communicating with the single channel and the single perineal opening in this baby this is a typical micturating cystourethrogram in which long urethra is visible in the male along with the communication of the rectum with the recto urethral fistula so underlying communication and fistula tract easily diagnosed with the help of these contrast studies this is the algorithm for the management of the anorectal malformation in boys just summarize the lecture when you suspecting when baby came with abnormal anal opening or absent anal opening imperforate anus you examine careful examination at that time then admission during the admission rule out the other vectoral association so to advise the different investigation x rays ultrasound echo in case of esophageal atresia pass the nasogastric tube to confirm the patency of the esophagus if you pass easily uh, nasogastric tube into the stomach the esophageal atresia is ruled out so cardiac echo to rule out the other cardiac anomalies so x rays lumbosacral spine vertebral spine so all these investigation to rule out the vectoral association when uh, re evaluation after 24 hours if you are not uh, confirm patient has which type of the anomalies variety of the types easily diagnose on first examination uh sometimes second examination within 24 48 hours in case of low type the fistular communication helpful so if baby passed the meconium per urethra you easily diagnose patient has a high type with recto urethral fistula if the patient passed the black urine in case of abnormal pinhole opening within the, the perineum from which the meconium or stool coming out you can easily diagnose the patient has imperforate anus anorectal malformation with the perineal fistula anocatenous fistula but despite of these all types and these all findings sometimes babies not clearly diagnosed which type of uh, anorectal malformation is involved in this patient then we advise x ray knee chest position cross table lateral view with anal marker and this x ray is easily Uh, uh, diagnosed to reach the diagnose the which location the rectum is present in case of perineal fistula when you reevaluate re and to find out the fistular opening abnormal single opening in the perineal region not in the normal anus site but in the midline raphe then this is a minor defect so the simple single procedure anoplasty is advised and baby usually become normal normal anatomy is restored there is no serious consequences after the surgical procedure in case of the no associated defects one when, when you work out other associated anomalies are not present on x rays on other investigations and baby has a rectum gas shadow near to the coccyx it, it it is intermediate variety sometimes single procedure is advised sometimes the staged procedure so colostomy stoma sometimes made and sometimes not made and the psarp 
posterior sagittal anorectoplasty. This is, is a specific in, a surgical procedure. We usually advised in males to restore the anatomy by delivering the rectum and made the normal anal opening. Sometimes the rectum is very high, a complex defect is present. Plate bottom, sacrum is not fully developed. Sometimes the underdeveloped sacral vertebra is deficit. And the rectum is very high on the x rays. Then, definitely, a stage procedure is advised. We have no option to restore the anatomy in single procedure. So we advise colostomy stoma to save the life. So the stoma functioning and the stool coming out from the stoma, the baby is uh, become fine, temporarily fine. And after the eight to 12 weeks, then we other investigation advise and then definitive uh, PSARP procedure is advised. This slide showing the management in the girls. So, how we managed step by step. When baby, female baby, came with the absent and an opening, you advise the admission. Different investigation to rule out the vectoral association. Then, perineal inspection. In case of the single perineal opening, the 40 percent of the cases in the females very big number the persistent cloaca is present so single perineal opening when clinically examined then this is the complex defect so managed with colostomy to drain the git then had in, because these has single perineal opening there is a dilatation of the vaginal tract with the uterus so hydrocolpose is present. So we drain this hydrocolpose also plus the diversion of the urinary system because the persistent cloaca has three common uh, tracts communicating with each other. So draining of these all three separately is very important. Otherwise the infection is developed. So stoma and the diversion of the vaginal tract diversion of the urinary system is very important in case of persistent cloaca and in case of only single perineal fistula and baby has a normal urinary opening normal vaginal opening but abnormal anal opening with simple pinhole fistula trach from the meconium is coming out then you advise the anoplasty and sometimes the dilatation is required if there is a fistula opening just within the anal opening, anal verge, the normal location, but the abnormal opening, then dilatation is sometimes required. So very low type and simple defects in these types. Vestibular defects. In these defects, the rectum is and are communicating just behind the vaginal opening at the vestibular region. This is also the complex defect and not easily managed through a single op uh, procedure. Sometimes we advise single procedure. Now new techniques also come out and we managed it through uh, these openings between transfistular and erectoplasty and other single stage procedures also started. But uh, routinely we advise the stoma and after that the primary repair. In those babies, when there is no fistular opening and you are not clear that baby has a low type of endorectal malformation or high type of endorectal malformation, you clinically not clear, then after 24 hours, if baby has uh, age is less than 24 hours, then wait for 24 hours to reach the air into the distal rectum. So once the baby is uh, full of the rectum with its air, then we advise X-ray cross table knee chest position to assess the presence of air in the distal rectal pouch. So the anal marker distance to the rectum uh, 
uh, easily assessed and measured, and then we reach the underlying which type of the anomaly is present, high type or the low type. So in case of the low type on the X-ray, we advise primary repair. And in case of the high type, <coughs> sorry, uh, <coughs> in case of high type of the anomaly, we advise the stoma. And after the eight to 12 weeks, we de advise the definitive uh, procedure in the females. This picture showing the stoma, most commonly in high type of the anorectal male formation. We divide the sigmoid colon into two portions. One is as a functioning stoma, one as a mucus fistula. So uh, save the life. And after the three months, they, we advise the proper definitive repair. This is a proper definitive repair. Posterior sagittal anorectoplasty in which the midline incision and midline deep dissection to assess the perineal structure, coccyx and find out the rectum and if the rectum is communicating with the surrounding structure in the urinary system or the genital system, carefully separation of this rectum from the other structures and then made the anal opening within the sphincter margins. Okay. If any question, you can raise the hands. I will unmute the mic. <clears throat> okay. 